Well, morning. It's Saturday. Heading out to actually another. Uh, let's see. I guess a memorial service for a longtime family friend that passed away actually on my birthday, June 17, when I was in Mexico. They had a private service um, for the immediate family. You know, back when we were down there. But uh, now this is the uh, friends and family and acquaintances and all that uh, gathering that I'm going to. Yeah, we've been, this family's been friends of ours for, wow, 30, 35 years. I have to remember how to get here. I got my Garmin going, so it's going to be rambling off and on. But, uh, yeah, he passed away of pancreatic cancer, so I saw the family. They actually came out for the 4th of July to my parents' place. And, uh, yeah, I talked with them, you know, and kind of gave them a quick heads up as to what was found with my wife and her situation. So, yeah, that's where I'm going. You know, it's another one of those somber videos, but, you know, I'm not going to record, like, anything in the church. I'm just going to record the to and fro and ramble on and on about this, that, and the other. So, um, like my last video, I did a quick update on my wife's condition. Um, I think this evening, Saturday, yeah, this is Saturday, I think she's got an appointment at like 5 or 6 central time with her doctor. Uh, and that's, you know, they got uh, weird, <laughs> they got weird hours, you know, that they work, so, um, but yeah, she's going to be meeting with them, and uh, I'm not turning right, I know where I'm going, I just need to know where the church is, follow this slow truck, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, she's going to meet with the doctor, and we'll see how her urinary tract infection battle is going because she's got to be over that in order to get the hysterectomy surgery so if all goes well she's ready you know then they'll probably schedule her surgery sometime this week but you know I'm kind of pushing you know the sooner the better but I understand you know you can't rush something like this but again you know it's, it's kind of that race against time um oh Roads closed. Well, no wonder this thing is trying to tell me to make a turn. Wow, they're actually repaving the entire road here. Well, this is uh, interesting. I mean, this has been a really rough road, so... Yeah, probably good that they're doing that. Looks like they're putting a storm drain in as well, so... Good, at least our tax dollars are being used for something. Yeah, I'm turning left on Main Street. So, yeah, but anyway, um, the, uh, yeah, the family that I'm going to see, yeah, we've been friends since, wow, probably the early 80s. I mean, we moved here in 1980. My mom, you know, of course, was in real estate. She started getting in real estate in the late 70s when we lived in Memphis, Tennessee for a couple of years. Um, <clears throat> so, and I know she sold them their house, and we've been friends ever since. So, yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm going, Fire Tower Road. So. Actually, since I'm on this road, I'll just probably keep straight a little bit and then take another detour. But, yeah, just rambling as I'm driving. So, but yeah, I'll keep you guys informed on how my wife's treatment is going. You know, the sooner the better. That's what I keep pushing, like I said, was saying before. I mean, I want to get this done. You know, cancer is still, you know insider and you know hopefully it's not spreading but you know the longer this takes the you know more it uh, you know the more it spreads so okay so now 
Yeah, I could turn left here. Oh, new Mickey D's. I haven't been to that one yet since they rebuilt it. So now I'm going to go this way. What's gas down here? $1.99? Man, they're ridiculous on this side of town. I don't know why. That is crazy. Yes, I'm turning right as soon as people get out of my way. Yeah, we got this old Silverado power of one in front. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. Let's see, there's a couple places. There used to be a restaurant here. Now it looks like it's some sort of bar. Palmetto Wines. Okay. Yeah. If y'all are following uh, uh, my brother-in-law's uh, Red Nightclub Facebook page, they got all sorts of stuff going on. Tonight is the big night. They've got a couple stars from uh, it's like a the Mexican version of Jersey Shore. They're called Aka Shore. And two of the stars of the show are going to be at Red Nightclub this evening. So Melanie and Diego are going to get all sorts of pictures and video. And, you know, of course I want to see. I wish I was there for it. You know, if I'd have known, I think this wasn't planned until, you know, after we had already got our tickets. But, uh, yeah. You know, they're probably going to be checking that out. I was like, don't you get involved in a show like that, Melly? Like, no, no, they do all sorts of bad stuff. It's like, oh, you've been watching it. Okay. Well, we hope you don't do any bad stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's funny. But yeah, anyway, where I'm heading, this is, uh, man, I traveled this road back when I was in high school. I'm coming up on my high school here pretty soon, actually. And, uh, yeah, this is the way I used to go to my old buddy's house when I had my 2002, uh, redneck four-wheeling days so heading out to the country here a little bit but yeah this is my old high school the old rock that's been painted who knows how many layers of paint it's been a battle between the two high schools that used to be two now we got three in town and I don't even know where the third high school is yet I mean, it's been around for several years but I don't know where it is this is the new middle school that uh, I've never been to that one. The old middle school that I was at has um, been turned into a, another building of some sort, but that's a nice looking building. So, yeah, I haven't been out this way in a long time, so this is kind of, you know, get an idea of what's been developing over the years. And this place has been growing. A couple of churches it looks like they weren't here before the shield okay all sorts of weird church names I think somewhere nearby here there used to be a grocery store I think it's all gone now Somewhere around in here, there used to be a grocery store that we'd used to... Yeah, when I was home from the Navy, you know, I wasn't 21 yet. But this guy honored, you know, he was like... Uh, I think yeah, it may have been there, but it's long gone now. Um, yeah, he would serve us uh, alcohol or sell us alcohol and stuff. <laughs> because, uh, you know, he, he believed, hey, if you're old enough to serve your country, you're old enough to buy beer. And, you know, I was really happy for that. So were my friends. So, yeah, way back in the day, you know, in the late 80s, early 90s, you know, I turned 21, I think, my third year in the military. But, yeah, I'd come home on weekends. My friends would look forward to that, too. Hey, let's, let's go pick up some beer. Okay, let's do it. So, yeah, I'd be making the beer runs and yeah, showing my military ID card. And they're like, thank you for your service. Here, you know, thank you for the sale. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, back then, yeah, of course it was illegal. I was, you know, what, 25 years ago? But, hey, you know, I totally respected someone like that. He respected me. I respected him. And we never had any problems. We never got in trouble or, you know, DUIs. I think I got my first DUI in 96. That was, like, four years after I left the military. I got out of it, you know, because I blew a .08. You know, as the officer being a dick, 
that's being blunt about it, but he was. He was just being being an ass. I'm going to take you in. I smell a little bit of alcohol on you. I was driving my hot rod, my 1970 Cutlass S that was souped up. So he got me for speeding. And I was only three blocks from my house. But the guy took me in anyway, trying to meet his quota. And then realized, oh, well, you know, it was the officer's discretion. And, of course, still had to hire an attorney to, to beat the case. And got it reduced to a four-point ticket. So now this portion of the road. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there used to be a store there. It's been renamed. Okay, I've heard about this. There's a massive rut here. Yeah, they, looks like they've done a temporary patch on it. Yeah, it was starting to sink or something was happening to it. Yeah, this is Neely Store Road. A long time ago. I mean, we're heading to the neighborhood where I used to grow up. In fact, since we're out this way, you know, after I get out of the church, I mean, we're not far from where I grew up. I'll be glad to head on out that way to show you my old stomping ground from junior high to high school before I went in the Navy. But we're about one and a half miles away from the church, so. Yeah, old two-lane road. I used to speed up and down this road, my old hot rods. Now, I'm a bit mellow. A lot, of, a lot of country out this way. You know, the house we grew up in, you'll see it. It was, you know, had a pretty good sized yard. It was a pretty fun neighborhood. Memphis, Tennessee, boy, I hated that. We originally, I'm from Buffalo. We moved to Memphis, and I made, I was got picked on in school, in elementary school, because of the way I talked. I had a developed, a well-developed northern accent. And when I moved to Tennessee, you know, everybody made fun of the way I talked, so I didn't make very many friends. I was picked on a lot. Um, I was actually held back in fourth grade because I was actually skipping school a lot. I mean, there was woods across the street, so instead of going to school, I would actually just, you know, hide in the woods and go hang out in the clubhouse, you know. I started missing too many days, and my parents, of course, you know, were wondering what's going on, and, you know, yeah, I wound up getting held back because of... Uh, my attendance record. Yeah, we got some trailer parks still around here. Yeah, those haven't changed. Old mobile homes. Discount living, I guess. What the hell is that? Looks like an old shuttle or something. <laughs> that is crazy. Never saw that before. So, yeah. we're getting close. It's going to be somewhere on the right or left. I guess we'll find out here. This might be it on the right. Uh, yeah, man, it's been a long time since I've been here. Yeah, this is it. All right, yep, everybody's already gathered in, so I guess I'll just find me a parking spot here, and um, I will catch up with you guys after after this memorial. Yeah, I like the way this bozo parked. Just hog the only spot there. I had to park on the grass. I didn't care. Oh, yeah. So that's done. Head on through my old stomping ground here and uh, head on back to the house. So, yeah, I, I was remembering when I was talking earlier about uh, when they moved here. Because yeah, we moved here in 1980, so. They moved here that same year, and if I'm now that I remember, I think they were the first listing my mom had here in uh, South Carolina. So, yeah, a lot of history there. That's uh, another reason why we've remained friends all this time. So, yeah, and just down the street right here is where we turn into my old neighborhood. Yeah, this is it, Shandon. This is where I lived, down this way, 1980 to 88. And it's been a long time since I've been down this way. That's a new house, building a big garage next to it. This road used to be a gravel road back in the day. But, uh, yeah, Let's see what's been going on down this way. Same old house has been here uh, since we lived here. Hey, Jeep, get on your side of the road. Long 
winding road. Yep. Shandon. Signs changed a little bit. There's the big old house. Okay, now this is a little pine sanctuary. This house has been there for ages. Yeah, I used to know the kids that lived there a long time ago. Let's see, new people living in this house. This old road, we'll take a tour down. A lot of memories on this road. This corner lot was a vacant lot for ages. And we're coming up on my house. I'm gonna probably pull off here. And this house had all sorts of crazy people living in it. But uh, yeah, this is it, man. I thought the hill was steeper. It's been a long, long time. They fence in that yard next door. Yeah, that whole left section there is where I lived. It used to be a, a garage before my parents moved in. And that was turned into a carport again before we moved in. So that, that was my room. Upstairs were the bedrooms. Middle was the family room and, uh, you know, kitchen. And then the living room, or no, dining room was off to the side. So. Yeah, I, I could have swore that was a little bit steeper hill from what I remember. There used to be pine trees along the driveway. They've since been cut down. And there was a, girls that lived in this house in the corner, but yeah, they didn't really think much of my brother and I. <laughs> this long turn, man, this is a crazy turn. People take it too sharp, go off the road. It's happened. And here is the old pond. We used to come down here all the time to hang out, even fish. I really like fishing. It's all grown up along the side here now. Before you used to, there was none of this wild overgrowth. You could just walk down, hang out at the pond. And uh, yeah, not much has changed. That house over there didn't used to be there. But, uh, yeah, it's weird. Ah, yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. Yeah, that place used to not be there. This used to be all woods. We'd go walk around. Wow, that's something. Huh. Long time. Long, long time since I've been here. All right, well, let's continue on. All right, and this lot up here used to be woods. It used to come right through the backyard and hang out. And you know, they built a nice house there. You can all see the back side of our house. Used to not be able to. Knew the uh, guy that lived there, and the girl that lived there. I didn't like the guy that lived there. <laughs> Knew the guy that lived there. We were good friends. Um, let's see, yeah, this corner house, another couple of girls, they own a construction company. Uh, knew the girl somewhat over there. And, uh, yeah, my best friend used to live in this house. His mom still does, and from what I heard, she's not doing real well. She's suffering from Alzheimer's. But yeah, we used to hang out at that house with them and all that. Knew the girl that lived there, she was, yeah, she was different. <laughs> And knew the guy that lived there in this corner house. And again, this was a vacant lot. Oh, hold on. Uh, that was my honey bunny. I'm going to drive back by my house again. Some other fun memories. The hill, this is why I remember I thought it was steeper. I used to sneak out of the house a lot because I was on restriction a lot of the times in my old neighborhood. And I would roll the car down the driveway, but I could have swore it was a steeper driveway. I rolled out into the road, start it up in neutral, and take off and go meet up with my friends. But yeah, that's uh, where I lived for eight years, 1980 to 88. Now they got a dog cage back there and a new shed and all that. I didn't see that. But uh, yeah, a lot of memories there, you know. I think the house had come up for sale at one time. Um, oh, probably. 15 years ago, something like that, and I actually had thought about maybe trying to buy it, you know, it was around the time that I was, well, I'd already bought my house, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of fun owning your old stomping ground house. Yeah, some of these houses are new, 
I used to know a girl who lived there, and the guy that lived there, he's living in Japan now. The guy that used to live in that house. Uh, I knew the family there. Uh, friends of mine were living there and stuff, and that was pretty much the extent of it, you know, as far as my, you know, the local neighborhood, you know, clique that I used to hang out with. Um, and just, you know, we'd catch a bus and we'd come down this road morning bus to school. Well, I hated the bus too. I mean, there's good, you know, friends and stuff I'd meet on, but still, I just hated, you know, ride the bus. I always, you know, felt like, yeah, I, I, I wanted to drive to school, but my parents wouldn't let me, or when I did, I guess I abused my privileges. <laughs> yeah, a girl I used to know li lived that in that dump. Wow, it looks like it's been condemned. Yeah, wow. I guess they're going to finally tear that down. But yeah, this is a road. This is reservation. Long time since I've been down this way, too. Way back in the day, we'd come up to this store that's up here on the left called Jack's. And the rednecks would be up here. You should come on down yonder to Jack's, boy. Yeah, and now I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know. Probably it's closed down. So, yeah, a lot of old houses through here. It used to be a painter lived there. Uh, yeah, old pastures here. Yeah, horse pasture over there. Another one here. And uh, yeah, we take the bus down this way. Uh, it's a new fire department that wasn't there before. On this corner used to be Neely Store, where the road got its name. Now it's all vacant and lot is for sale and all that. And man, that is crazy. The store is long gone or it's moved here. Now it's called the Village Market. Okay, no longer Neely's store. And uh, I knew the girl that lived, I think it was this house. Yeah, it might have been that house. And uh, yeah, she's kind of snooty. She doesn't pay me much attention anymore. Uh, another girl I knew, a lot of these houses weren't even developed way back in the day. Um, yeah, none of these houses, these are nah, not too recent. I think I knew the girl lived there, or was it... Uh, maybe it was there. Yeah, I think it, yeah, she lived there. Used to ride our bus, and I was kind of had a bit of a crush on her back then. <laughs> yeah, memories. Yeah, these houses did not exist. Those are all new or within the last 20 years. Not real new, but... Yeah, and then we're back to... Let's see. Is this the road? No, next road. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll take this road. This is another... This is the way our bus used to come. Ah, road closed. One and a half miles. Well, I guess we won't be coming down for very long. Yeah, we used to come down this way, you know, for picking up more kids used to go down, yeah, I think it was this road here. Man, it was just a derelict shanty town road. Yep, still gravel. That's, it was always a gravel road, and the bus driver used to fly up and down that road. Even slide, and you could actually, you know, feel the back end sliding a bit. Um, he didn't last for long. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you start driving a bus in an unsafe condition, or unsafe way, and word gets back to the school. Yeah, they're not uh, too keen on that. Yeah, I'm trying to think why this road is closed, if I remember correctly, last year. Was it last year? Might have been last year, yeah. So it's, I'm going to keep straight, but I think this bridge washed out from the massive rainstorm they had back in October. I think that's what it was, yeah. When all that rain was happening and I was in Mexico for Melly's Quince Años. Yeah, road's closed here, so I'm just going to make a U-E. Uh, yeah, I think the bridge was washed out. I'm not going to take my chances, so we'll just continue back this direction. Yeah, we just come down that way towards uh, another trailer park. So, are you going to wait, Van? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we'll just head on back. The other direction. Yeah, long, 
long, long, long time since I've been down this way. Maybe early since high school. I've been out of high school now since 88, and then I went right in the Navy for four years and pretty much never came back because my parents sold the house that I showed you and moved out to the lake house that you guys see every 4th of July and even Thanksgiving when I can make some quick videos. Uh, birds looking for roadkill. Uh, so, yeah, let me just make a turn. Wow, what the hell? Stupid UPS truck. <laughs> wow. That yeah, dude's still trying to pass. Uh, what an idiot. So, anyway, back on the road after challenging Brown. Yeah, the cross section up here, that's where I'm going to turn head on back towards downtown. Yeah, Jackson Place, that used to. Yeah, I used to go down that way when it was still being built way back in the day. So now we'll turn down this way. Long straightaway coming up, or at least I remember. I used to come down this way when I would uh, have my first job, which was at Carowinds. <laughs> like I was 15, 14 or 15, working there at the summer. And uh, it was a summer job driving a 67 Dodge Dart. That was my very first car. My parents were fans of the old cars, you know, that's what they had back then. And they were reliable, you know, 225 slant six. Yeah, here's a long straightaway, man. I used to floor it down this road. <laughs> yeah, get a few speeding tickets. That was, those are the days. But yeah, I would drive the 67 Dodge Dart down this road. I would see how fast I could get it. And I got it up to, I think, 90 at one time. <laughs> Old 225 slant, slant 6, four-door, ugly white dart. Man, that thing had all sorts of issues, brake problems. I mean, yeah, brakes failed on me one time coming home from that job. And I managed to creep into the mechanic shop and call my, you know, they, you know, luckily they were open and called my parents, come pick me up. The brakes are gone on this old Dodge. I hated that car. <laughs> You know, driving to school in that, you know, four doors. I was like driving grandma's car. Yeah, I always hated that. Yeah, some of these houses have been here for ages. Y'all don't mind these long-winded videos. This is kind of going down memory lane. I don't get down here very often. I mean, this is really the first video I've made. I mean, it's been many years since I've been down this way, so who knows when I'm going to get back. But, uh, yeah, uh, they should put a signal here. I've, I've been pushing, well, even living here. You try to get out on the road, and this road is pretty busy. I think it's called Springdale. Um, man, I mean, traffic just won't let you go, and you're sitting here. So, yeah, I'm going to take a left. Yeah, I think I can go beat these trucks. Yep. Yeah. I'll see what's down this way. Again, this is all... This over here used to be something. But I guess it's all covered up now, or it's been bulldozed, torn down. Now they got a... See, so, yeah, they got a power substation here. That wasn't there. And there's an entrance to uh, the Big Ross DC. So, yeah, that's all new. I think this used to be the Pepsi plant coming up. It's no longer a Pepsi. Yeah, it is. It's still a Pepsi plant. I'll be darned. That's been there for 30 some years. Well, I tried to get a job with them, but I like Coke. So, <laughs> I guess I didn't pass that test. But, uh,. Uh, doing some developing here. Yeah, something's going up. Yeah, keep an eye on that. Space available. Huh, interesting. That will take a turn down this highway. Road work ahead. Great. Okay, well, we got a van that 
it's creeping. So let's get in front of them here. Thanks very much for moving over. <clears throat> yeah, BP 183. That's not bad on this side of town. Yeah, QT is probably the same way. Everybody, wherever there's a QT, they usually got the get lowest gas prices. And everybody's got to compete. Oh, vegetables and fruit for sale. Watermelons, maters. Nice. What the dude in this truck is doing? Yep, 183 at the QT. Man, all this is recently developed too. This used to be a pretty barren road. Another gas station. Don't know what the price is. Intersection with 77. Interstate to Columbia. Oh yeah, we love our fireworks around here. All sorts of fireworks stores. They still do pretty good sales-wise, even though the 4th of July is over. Free! Buy one, get one free. Yeah, they got some stuff, probably some sales going on over there. Ah, well, let's wait for the signal. All right. It looks like that Exxon is closed. Huh. Yeah, 183 at the Valero. Okay. Yeah, gas is not bad down on this side of town. Another used car lot. Yeah, I'm gonna veer right here. Oh, there's a nice four-door Tonka Impala. It's a toy shop. There's a hobby stop there. Place has been there for a while. Model planes and stuff like that. Old gas station closed down now. It was a restaurant, but I guess it didn't last. Hmm. All right, what's this Aaron's doing? Let me get over here because he's kind of slow. And our tax dollars. New central station for the utility department on the right. Dude, how about waiting if you lost? Yeah, get around the old rental vehicle. Yeah, it's a big center, big old service center there. Oops. And we're back towards, heading back towards my old uh, technical college. Yeah, new apartments over there. And more construction here. Looks like they're, oof, nice. Just warning for the torn up road. Redoing this whole intersection here for some reason. Nice. Old cars, a couple of them. Chico 182. Nice. It's even cheaper down this way by the college. And we'll go ahead and make my turn through the old industrial park here. And there you go, pretty much uh, back to my local civilization. So yeah, hope you like that drive down memory lane because I said I have not been down that way in many years and who knows when I'm gonna get back so might as well get it all on video. Looks like a little bit of storm damage down this way, just a little bit of tree debris. And they repaved all this, that looks good. Huh, nice. Wait for the signal as we head back home. Alright, we'll continue on home now. Oh, looks like a storm blew over that tree. Wow. Yep, split it in half. No kidding. Yeah, we did. We had a doozy of a storm last night. I was worried about my big giant tree. But it survived. I mean, that's actually the first real storm we've had 
in, well, since I've been home. I've been home now about 10 days, and it has just been storms missing us, or they fizzle out, turn into a light shower, and that's it. Last night's storm, my goodness, that was uh, pretty impressive. So, anywho, pretty much about home. And, uh, and like I said, hope you enjoyed the trip down memory lane. Don't know when I'll be doing that again, so. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Reminiscing on the old golden days. Alright. Pave road. That's nice. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Alright, well, I'll just go ahead and wrap it up. So, until the next thrilling adventure. Adios.